Hello everybody and welcome to another session of Ask Dr. Matt because the doctor is in and some of you might be going oh Jesus fucking God no believe it or not this was fucking requested so put that in your crack pipe and smoke it ha <laughs> ha Dr. Matt so this one it's going to go along with the last one on um instagram flirting or whatever this one is going to be more how to point out a fraud when someone is sliding into your dms okay now um i don't know if this is as big of a issue for the ladies in the house as it is for the dudes but there are some very stupid fucking men out there that need fucking help because they are so dumb. And so, um, and the only reason why I'm saying it like this is because I have a lot of dumb friends. And a lot of my dumb friends fall for a lot of dumb shit. So these are just going to be some quick tips to find out if that person who's talking to you all of the sudden out of nowhere that you've never fucking heard of before is real or if they're just trying to get you to send them money. Here we go. First and foremost, how this starts. You usually will notice on your Instagram, um, I don't know, like the heart button you push, that some strange hot woman is now liking like three or four of your random posts. They might even leave a comment on one of them. Say it's a picture of food. They might go, oh my gosh, this is my favorite meal or something fucking stupid like that. It usually, like the English is usually a little bad and I'm not trying to talk shit on anybody. I'm just fucking saying because I've gotten these also from fucking chicks that I think are real fucking chicks just trying to fucking find a couple bucks. But anyway. So you're like, oh, that's cool. And then you notice, oh, shit, they followed me. Wow. They like my posts. They enjoy some of the same things I enjoy. And now they're following me. Let's take a look at this person's profile. And then you go to it and it's just some hot chick being hot. And you're like, God damn, things have changed. Things are looking up. And you get all excited. Don't get excited. Not that you're not worth it, just don't fucking get excited yet. Within the next however many minutes, you will get a message from this person. Now, I'm just going to fucking say this, guys. I'm just going to say this. And I'm not trying to destroy your ego or anything like this. If a woman likes your posts, leaves a comment, follows you and messages you before you've done anything, it's fake. Like, if we, we could just call it right there. This is complete fake bullshit. Okay? And you're going to go, well, I don't know. No. It, it's fake. And we'll go through the reasons why it's fake. But that right there, it's fake. So just stop. But a lot of you, deep down, you're going to want it to be real. So you're going to need more. You're going to need me to give you more, and I will feed you, baby birds. So here we go. The first thing I would say to do is give them enough rope to hang themselves. Let them talk, because they're going to just keep messaging you. Go, oh, really? That's interesting. Say things like that to just keep it going, keep it going. And you're going to find that this person is going to tangle a web that is so hard to weave. I think I've said that wrong, but that's okay. They're going to tell you about how hard their life is, but at the same time, and the funny thing is, this is the thing that's weird, and I don't know if this really works, but I'm going to say it. One of the things that I get a lot is these girls saying, they'll just like throw their values in out of nowhere. Like you didn't ask, you didn't fuck, but they'll go, you know, I just, you know, I'm working really hard, you know, because I'm supporting, um, some people or like, you know, like I'm living with my aunt right now because I just got out of a bad relationship. But, you know, um, I'm just I'm really looking for the one, you know, and, you know, I just I really want to just, you know, get married and have kids. 
th th just like throw this information out like it's something that you would normally say to somebody in a conversation which is weird because like i might know one guy in the whole fucking world i might know one fucking dude that if you were to say to him yeah i just want to get married and have kids he'd be like dude score every other guy if you said that to them they would be oh my god block block where's the where's the block button block Okay, so that's fucking weird. But I think that this is part of their little marketing strategy. They're looking for the person who wants that. They're looking for the person who wants that. So like when they inevitably say, hey, can I have like a hundred bucks just to pay my electric bill and then maybe we can meet up? They're like, which credit card do you want? You know, so whatever. So that's one thing. The next thing is find out where they live. Because they're going to tell you where they live. Then you could go look at the pictures on their Instagram feed. And notice that the place that they say they live in does not match the pictures on their Instagram feed. Then you can ask, like, oh, like, what do you drink? Like, what, what's your favorite kind of drink? Is there anything you don't drink? Like, what do you eat? Like, what kind of food do you like? And then go over to their Instagram page. And they will almost always contradict themselves because I feel like this is like a big massive thing and they don't even know what the pictures are of. Okay. And so you're like, you're getting into it now. Okay. If you know the town that they're talking about or have any idea of it, they will usually say some city. Like it's not like, um, podunk fucking wherever it's like san francisco chicago new york miami like it's some big fucking place if you know anything about that place you could start asking them questions about that place and they will not know what to do a lot of times too they do this one too where they say they're a business owner they're 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 the owner of a struggling business because they oh what was that one i got um that's how she worked in the fucking family shit. It was a, a boutique shop that sold vintage baby clothes because she loves kids. Jesus fucking Christ. And um, so in this situation, yes, and I think I talked about this in a live stream before because I was cracking up over it. But... Um, I'm like, oh, really? What district? Because she said she was in San Francisco. I'm like, oh, I was just in San Francisco. What district is your shop in? And she's like, uh. And I didn't get a message for a really long time. And then she just, like, threw something out, which I'm like, oh. And then I just picked two streets. I'm like, oh, was that off of Green or Main? Most cities have a Main Street. Green is a fucking stretch. Oh, it's in between those two. Oh, okay, so you obviously have no fucking idea where you're where you're at. But like, I like to play with this because I I want to see how far they're gonna go. And then one time, I was talking to one of these, and they're like, um, "What did they say?" They said something like, "Oh, I have a customer. Hang on, I'll, I'll be back in a little bit." And I'm like, "Oh yeah, sure." And so they they're gone for a little bit, and then when they come back, they're like, "How was your dinner?" And I'm like. That was the other guy you were talking to. Like, and then they're like, oh, God, because like they obviously just fucked up. And they're like, oh, um, no, you're the only one I'm talking to. And then you're like, Jesus fucking Christ. OK, so now we've done all this. But now we start thinking of other stuff. So this is really important. And this is how you fucking pick these out immediately. Look at the dates. I don't know why nobody doesn't do this right at the beginning. Look at the dates of the pictures they post. If some chick is sending you a picture of her in a fucking parka, fucking hood up, freezing her ass off, and the date she sent the, posted the picture was August 21st, that's a bad sign, okay? The better sign to find this out is look at all of the dates of the posts. Because more times than not, all of these pictures are posted on the same day. Maybe one, the first one might be like a couple days before. Um, see, because how they do this, they start off with just the one picture. And when they're not getting enough bites, they're like, so they do this for a couple days with one picture. And then they'll go, fuck, I'll post another picture. So they post another picture. Then they go a few more days. They're not getting what they want. And they get fucking like impatient and so then they'll post like 20 fucking pictures all on the same day that cover like 
an entire fucking year of somebody's life. And you're wondering, how do they do this? Dude, they're fucking stealing people's phones and getting their fucking images off of it. Or they're doing that iCloud fucking rip kind of shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's all a fucking scam. They're looking for money. Um... And if you're okay playing the game, you're probably talking to some fucking, I don't know, some dude in fucking Estonia who's pretending to be, I don't know, a hot Asian chick in fucking Boston, you know? Like, if you're okay with this and you like the fantasy, then play along, you know? Um, and just, you, just if you're going to play this game, play it back at them and keep, like, fucking doing the shit like... Um, like, if they ask for anything, go, oh, yeah, 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 No, I got a big land deal coming in. Or, um, yeah, I just sold the rights to my life story to Universal. And I'm waiting for my check to come in. I'm about to be a multimillionaire. Dude, I just fucking won fucking, I don't know, 15,000 bucks on a scratcher. And just see how fucking hungry they get. It's fucking hysterical. So if you don't have anything to do one night, you could fucking keep this going for fucking ever. Um, but then the best is if you beat them to the punch and you ask them for money, that's the kicker. That's the most fun in the fucking world. But yeah, so it's a fucking scam. And, um, I don't know, like I've never had, okay. One friend of mine actually admitted that he sent somebody money, but it was like 20 bucks or something like that. But, um, no one else I know has ever admitted to this, but the fact that these things keep happening and they happen all the time is because people fall for it all the time. So don't be that fucking guy. Okay. So that's it. That's how you can find out if you're being scammed by someone sliding into your DMS. Okay. Good on you. Hey, go buy my shit. Type hard and, um, keep those motherfuckers out of your DMS. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. And thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.